In this video, we are going to learn how to model depreciation and fixed assets. We know that depreciation is dependent upon the fixed assets and depreciation is calculated as a percentage of average fixed assets. If we look at the problem, we know that depreciation on fixed assets is supposed to be charged at 12 percent of fixed assets. However, in order to calculate depreciation, we also need to know the average fixed assets. For this, we would need to understand the capex that's incurred during the year so that depreciation can be calculated also taking the capex into consideration. If we look at the problem, we have been given information as to the number of stores that the company is intending to open and what is the cost that's going to be incurred for each of the stores. In addition, we've also been given information as regards to the maintenance capex. So the maintenance capex is supposed to be 20 lakh per year towards maintenance of outlets. We could calculate the depreciation directly in our financial statement. However, for ease of understanding, it would be better if we could create a fixed asset schedule. So here we have created a sheet for fixed asset schedule. So let's create the schedule. Opening balance of fixed assets. And we'll create some space and we'll have closing balance of fixed assets. Now closing balance of fixed assets for 2012, we can find it in the balance sheet. So we'll go to the balance sheet of the company. And we notice that fixed assets is 482.7 crores. We'll link it to that. Now opening balance of assets during a particular year is going to be the closing balance of the previous year. So we'll link the opening balance of 2013 to closing balance of 2012. To this fixed assets we need to add capex. We know that capex have two components. One is maintenance capex. And the other one is growth capex. Now first let's focus on growth capex. What is going to be the capex that is going to be incurred towards assets that can bring in additional sales to the company in future. So when we look at the problem we know that it is the cost that's incurred towards opening of new stores. The capex is going to be dependent on the number of new stores opened and the capex per store. So in this case we will define growth capex as number of new stores multiplied by capex per store. Now we need to capture both these numbers in our assumption sheet. In the assumption sheet we notice that number of new stores opened the information for that is already captured. So what we need to capture is capex per store. So let's capture the same. We know that capex per new store as given in the problem is 1 crore 20 lakhs or rather 1.5 crores. So we'll mention the number as 1.5. Remember we are capturing everything in crores and this being an assumption we'll highlight it in the relevant colors. So now we get to the fixed asset schedule where we'll define growth capex as number of new stores multiplied by capex per store. So we we'll link the number of new stores to our assumption sheet and we shall link capex per store again to our assumption sheet. We multiply the two to get the growth capex. The next thing for us to capture is maintenance capex. If we go to maintenance capex, the problem says it is expected to be at 20 lakhs per year for all the outlets that were at the beginning of the year. So we could define maintenance capex as stores at the beginning of the year multiplied by maintenance capex per store. Which means we also need to capture both these parameters in our assumption sheet. We notice that the opening balance of stores is already available in our assumption sheet. So we'll just capture maintenance capex per store open. In our problem that's mentioned as 20 lakhs. 20 lakhs is 0.2 crores so we'll have it in 0.2 and this being an assumption we'll also highlight this in the relevant colors. 
now we go to our fixes schedule and we shall create the breakup for maintenance capex so number of stores at the beginning of the year we shall link it to the assumption sheet and maintenance capex per store again is available in our assumption sheet so we'll link it to that so the overall maintenance capex is going to be number of stores at the beginning of the year multiplied by maintenance capex per store that's 110 million so overall capex for the store is going to be 110 plus 45 which is 155 the next step is to calculate depreciation because depreciation reduces the value of capex fixed assets first for depreciation we need to capture depreciation rate in our assumption sheet the problem provides that depreciation rate is 12 percent so we shall capture the same and we'll link the same to our assumption sheet again as we discussed earlier we could have directly calculated depreciation with by linking it to the assumption sheet but the reason we are capturing the depreciation rate in the assumption sheet is so that if anybody is looking at the printout of just the fixed asset schedule they would know what they are looking at next the crucial point to discuss is how to calculate depreciation average assets we've already discussed in one of our earlier lessons that in order to calculate depreciation and mostly in order to avoid circular reference we'll calculate the average fixed assets as opening balance plus 1 by 2 of the capex the reason for the same being that prevents our calculation from getting into a circular reference because our closing balance is dependent on depreciation if we make the closing balance uh, depend on depreciation by making the average assets calculated based on opening balance plus closing balance by 2 then we would have problem so in order to prevent that we are going to calculate apply it on average assets so we have average assets now and we'll simply multiply it by we'll multiply it by the depreciation rate now depreciation reduces the value of assets so we'll attach a minus sign to it so the closing balance of fixed assets is going to be opening balance plus capex minus depreciation but because it's already a minus number we're going to use the plus sign so now we've got this let us now get to our income statement and in here we're going to link the depreciation numbers to our fixed asset schedule and we're going to calculate EBIT as EBITDA plus depreciation and that's a bit of 69.2 million so in this lesson we learned how to model depreciation for this particular company and how to create a fixed asset schedule for